Hey guys, it's the Page Tenors with Maureen here, and I'm here to do a book review on Dreamless, which is the second edition of the Star Crossed Trilogy by Josephine Angelini. A quick synopsis of this book. Um, it kind of picks up from the second, from the first book. I said that about all my books, who have trilogies or a series of books. In order to read this book, then you have to read the second, first book. You know, it's kind of a given. Um, if you haven't read the Starcross trilogy, then this review can, might contain a bit of spoilers for you. Um, so, Helen and Lucas have found out that they're first cousins. Um, so they have to kind of distance away from themselves, even though that they've still have this urge of attraction between themselves. They, Helen's mission in this ba in this book basically is she, she's the only one who can go into the underworld. She's a descender um, and she can go to the underworld at will and, and she takes on the mission to stop the Furies, um, three girls um, who have caused torture and bloodshed and, and a whole lot of misery for her, her family, her friends, the whole race of the Sky Islands. Um, so she, she takes on that mission to stop that so every skyline from, from the four houses can live together peacefully without having the urge to actually kill each other but it comes with extreme consequences she feels fatigue um, sometimes a bit of insanity when she comes back into the real world and it's causing her to slowly die um, she needs help basically and surprise surprise comes this new addition to the book called Orion um, he is one of the most strongest skyline slash demigod there is. He can change people's feelings physically. That's a huge advantage to him, but however he doesn't really like using his powers because it's again an unfair advantage. But yeah, he is he was sent there also into the underworld um by Helen's mother to help her to help find these furies and to kind of beat this whole curse that they have been inflicted upon. Aside from that, back in the real world, um the twelve Olympian gods are trying to come out of their um, of, I wouldn't say it's a prison, but they're kind of basically stuck and they want to come out of where they're stuck from and roam the earth and, and cause chaos and, and whatever, whatsoever. Um, so the review of this book, Helen as I like to I might even like her more than I did in Star Wars. I mean, she's awesome. She's a kick-ass female demigod and I really like her. I think she, like, she's a really one of a kind. I mean, she's not only incredibly strong, she doesn't really know her strength. She's really pretty. Um, she has this sister's necklace kind of thing that prevents from any harm. She has a kind of unique rare ability of using lightning. Um, she's the replica of Helen of Troy. I mean, what more can this girl have? She's a really, really good. And I really like her. She's really honest. She's a down-to-earth girl amongst all this stuff happening. On this huge, huge mission to stop the Furies. Um, even though she's dying and she's really, really a selfless girl. Aside from that, I was really torn about her um, attitude, the way she, this new approach that she's supposed to take on when approached with Lucas. I mean, she still loves him, he still loves her, but they have to yeah. act indifferent, they have to act like real cousins because of course they think they are. Lucas, I'm more in love with Lucas than uh, the first book. I mean, he's just so adorable and likeable. He's he does so much stuff to he does so much things to push Helen away and especially like he's um the part where he's really angry at Helen and he makes her want to hate him. But obviously, you know, they both love each other and they can't stay with it, away from each other and you just feel really sorry for him and I wasn't even mildly ticked off for him when he kept interfering between Orion and Helen. I mean, a guy has gotta do what a guy has to do. There's a secret to him, like he contains so much anger and hatred and he doesn't know where it's coming from. And I think in the third book it will kinda of develop that particular anger issue that he has kind of adopted, um, develops out in the third book. The newcomer, Orion, oh, my god, I really like him and that's why I'm so torn between whether Helen should choose Orion or whether Helen should choose Lucas. I mean, Orion is the funniest, the strongest, the hottest, the easy loving, easy going, gentlest demigod there is. He cares for Helen, Helen so much and there's a part where I think in the KFC, I think all YA books are using the um, picture or image of the cave to kind of elicit more romance in that department kind of feels like it. In the cave scene where he actually allowed um, Helen to stab him in order to stop the Furies and to make them go away. He was willing to sacrifice himself just so Helen could live and that is just, there is, he's just so adorable. I mean, there are parts of the book where um, Jason, who's Lucas's cousin, there are times where I felt so angry at him. I mean he kept yelling and 
yelling at Helen and making her think that it's all her fault, that all this chaos and drama was happening and especially with the Lucas's kind of different mood swings that, that was occurring but it, he forgets the most important thing that Helen is risking her life, risk dying in order to save everyone else and I thought that was just such a selfish thing for Jason to do. He kept, I mean I understand he thought, you know, he didn't know where to direct his anger and Helen was kind of like the most direct cause to all of this but I thought, you know, come on, she's doing a lot than you are and give the girl some slack. Um, in terms of the plot, the plot is really good. I mean, most of the book is between Helen and Orion trying to find the Furies and their relationship along the way in the underworld. Um, towards the end, all havoc kind of erupts. The Olympian gods are released, um, and basically there's a war between the gods and the demigods. And I thought that was really good, especially towards the ending where um, everything was coming all together. And I really liked Angelini's additions and changes to the classic mythology um, and especially with the story of Helen of Troy because we know that the god Orion is nowhere to appear in the actual spot but I liked it that she added this particular uh, mytho uh, mythological character. But I have friends I mentioned in my Angel Fall by Suzanne which I'll link in the description box below. As I said before Dreamless was in my August to be read part and I had read it in August but I've been just super busy with a lot of stuff and I haven't actually had time to sit down and do video review. I haven't all had the time to actually write a written review in my blog post. Um, but I'm doing them, getting round to it. Um, obviously this has been up. Um, but it's just going just gonna to be uploaded just a little bit later in September. But I have started on my September to be read past. I'm here and I don't know when I'm going to have another chance to actually record a video. Um, I'll just tell you what my September to be read pile is. So, uh, number one for my September to be read pile, Legend by Maria Lou. Mary Lou. Am I pronouncing that right? Marie? Marie? Marie Lou? Mary Lou. It's another dystopian book and it's been on my to be read pile for ages. Also on my September to be read pile is Insurgent by Veronica Roth, which is the second um, book in the Divergent series. I am currently reading this to start off my September kickoff um, and as you can see I'm on 17% I don't know if you can see that it's not that much I have, I, as I said a lot of things that's been happening so I don't even have time to actually sit down and read a book another one Four Glass by oh my god what's her name oh the author's name is author's name I can't really see it but okay I'll I'll write it down in the description box all the books I'm reading for September um, but yeah this one it's both, apparently this must be really really good another one is The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark this was given to me as an arc by Netscan and the last of the ebooks for my September to be all to be read pile um, is Tempest by Julie Croft as the hard copy for my September to be read pile is The Passage by Justin Cronin all these books have been mentioned in my summer book haul down which the link will also be down in the description box if you haven't checked that out so i'm trying to kind of finish up on reading all these books that i had promised myself that i will read in in my summer holidays so yeah hopefully i can but so far it's going good i mean i've pretty much ticked most of the books on my book list for the summer um but yeah i mean check a look have a look down on my blog as well because i do written reviews for those and kind of upcoming news and posts so i'm thinking of adding kind of snippets of a novel that i'm currently writing i'm not going to say much about it but it's it's in the ya category obviously but anyway check out all the links down below and i'll see you soon bye